Welcome to the channel, everybody. Today we're going to be tying in a tractor dry fly. It's a cross between a simulator and an elk or caddis. It's more of a simpler way to tie a simulator. We're going to start out with a dot all I've done. We're going to attach it to the hook and wrap all the way back to the bend of the hook. At this point, once we're done wrapping to the bend of the hook, we're going to trim off our tag end and we're going to have some dyed deer hair. We're going to take a small amount and we're going to stack it, measure about the hook, hook uh, gap, and then we're going to attach that to our hook. Once we attach it, we're going to evenly distribute that up the hook shank keep more of a tapered body. Once we got that secured down we're going to trim it off. We're going to finish cleaning that up and then we are going to take some uh, whiting dry fly hackle. It's a size 16. We're tying on a 14. What I'm doing here is I'm cutting off a portion of the fibers to expose the stem. And when I place this on the hook shank, I'm going to have the concave side facing towards me. So we're going to uh, secure that in. And next we're going to take some dry fly dubbing and olive. We're going to dub that onto our thread and then wrap it up the hook shank. And once we finish there, we're going to palmer the dry fly hackle forward and tie that off and snip off our excess. Then we're just going to take another clump of deer hair and basically form a elk hair caddis head. And then right here we can also apply a high vis spot if you would like, but we're going to wrap through the hair securing it even further whip finish and trim off our thread then we're going to trim the uh, excess deer hair left over and clean up the fly and that's about it it's going to flow high in the water column and it's a lot easier to tie than a normal stimulator i hope you enjoyed and learned something from the video like comment and subscribe see y'all later